Hi there, Gemini, and we welcome back to Star Lord is Tarot, and welcome aboard to uh, any of my new viewers out there. This is going to be your tarot forecast for the week of August the 27th through to September the 2nd. I went ahead, shuffled the cards, and laid them all out. First of all, the good news is Mars is now moving forward. Uh, it's good news for all signs because a lot of things that have been in stuck motion, I think we might see this week, things moving forward a little bit more smoothly. <laughs> First up, we have the Six of Swords in the upright position, followed by Major Arcana Justice, upright. Next, we have the Six of Cups in the upright, followed then by the Nine of Swords reversed. And lastly, we have the Two of Wands in the upright. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and interpret this read for you guys. First of all, Gemini, for your overall energy, you have that of the Six of Swords in the upright position. The Six of Swords mainly speaks of uh, moving on. This is moving on from emotional uh, waters. For It's going to be different for all of you because it's just a general read. But the Six of Swords generally speaks of moving forward. Sometimes it can literally mean moving. Maybe some of you are moving. Some of you could be moving to another town, another city, uh, another country even. Uh, others of you could just be moving residents or moving offices. Um, some of you could just be moving on emotionally from a situation that perhaps um, was uh, difficult for you. So either way you slice it, the Six of Swords is definitely good energy. It's all about moving on. Now, coming right off the hop, you have the energies of the Justice card in the upright position. I do like this energy upright because this can represent anything from, for any of you that are dealing with the legal system, it could be that justice is going to be ruled in your favor. For others of you, this could be uh, just an unjust situation that could have been happening in your personal life, in your family life, in your work situation, where uh, something was really unfair and now you see that um, things are coming back into balance again. You see the fairness being played out. And it's paired up with the Six of Cups in the upright position. Uh, this is the Blast from the Past card. Um, I noticed Gemini tends to get this card a lot. Um, this card is mainly um, indicative of when we're sort of having good memories from the past. Uh, this can also represent reunions from people from the past. Could definitely uh, represent a reunion with the one that got away. Maybe some of you are, um, you know, getting together with somebody that you once were involved with, could have been years ago, or even just, you know, um, a, a couple of years ago to all the way to childhood. For others of you, this could just be reminiscing with friends, uh, playing the remember when game. Some of you could just be um, listening to music or uh, something could be triggering your thoughts of the past, but it's in a good way because the card is in the upright position. Now moving towards the weekend of the 31st and the 1st of September, we have the Nine of Swords in the reverse position. I do prefer to see this energy reversed as opposed to upright because when the Nine of Swords is in the upright position, this is when we're um, we have too many ruminating thoughts going around and around in our head and it could be causing sleep disturbances, high anxiety, that kind of thing. When it's reversed like this, we are coming out of that energy. We're no longer feeling um, that restlessness. Maybe because of some of you have gotten your justice and now you're no longer thinking about that situation that could have been out of balance or what have you. But any way you slice it, it's very, very good energy to see. Um, I always like to see when people are coming out of anxiety and sleeplessness and restlessness. And it's paired up with the Two of Wands in the upright position. This is very, very nice. The Two of Wands is very forward moving energy, but it, this is kind of like where we have one foot in the past and one foot in the future. It can be a little bit of indecisive energy, although it's a two, so it's pretty balanced. But it can be a little bit indecisive where do we stay where we're at or do we put that uh, forward movement into play. But I think most of you are going to with the Six of Swords being here as your overall. This is about but making a plan to go forward. This is we're, we're formulating the plan. We haven't yet implemented it in physical action, but we are, um, you know, looking towards making that move towards something forward moving. Now, 
some of you, it could definitely, it's because sometimes the two of wands can represent travel. Sometimes we're just moving on in the sense that we're physically moving on, moving traveling or doing something like that, even taking a trip maybe. But for others of you, you could be formulating a plan, a new business plan, a new, you know, life plan even. So very good reading here, uh, Gemini. Um, I hope this reading helped you. If it did, please feel free to like, share, and subscribe. Otherwise, we'll see you next week. Bye for now.